Hello there. Welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Today, another of my back to basics videos where I share information and advice which will help you just achieve a better quality of life within the simple areas that are often overlooked. And today, it's all about self-confidence because on your journey to Chap Nirvana, confidence your self-confidence will be your trusty companion. You will need to have a good relationship with your self-confidence. It's the secret ingredient that can turn an ordinary person into an extraordinary chap. And whatever you're looking to achieve in your life, whether it's to improve your career, your relationships, or just to invest in your self-development, a healthy dose of self-confidence will be the medicine that improves the journey that you're going to take. So today, I have five tips for you, which surely will boost your self-confidence as they have for me over my decades of life. Now, my number one tip to improve your self-confidence is to dress for success. You could see this one coming all along because the way that you present yourself to the world will have a profound impact on your sense of self-confidence. But it isn't about wearing expensive suits or fancy clothing. It is about feeling confident and comfortable in the clothing that you wear. I strongly recommend that you invest in quality items that you know are going to look good and make you feel confident. And it's the attention to detail which often singles out the confident looking person and the person who looks uncomfortable in their clothing. But the good news is the details don't cost anything. It's about having a shine on your shoes. It's about having ironed your clothing and seeing the crease in your trousers. Maybe a little pocket square, little items like that. Being the person who has the confidence to wear a tie when all amongst you are choosing to go open collared. It's these little things which will make you feel great about yourself. And when you feel good, you will perform better as you go through life. Your self-confidence will fly. You will emanate that sense of self-confidence to the people around you. They will pick up on it and they will see you for what you are, an intentionally well-dressed man who's extremely confident. Now, my number two tip is to embrace failure and see it as a learning experience as you go through life. Because confidence is actually not about celebrating your successes and feeling on top of the world because you've done well. I have found in my more than half a century of life now that the way I have handled my setbacks has actually prepared me better for my future than celebrating those successes. Because when you've actually got through the trials and tribulations of life, when you've had a few knockbacks and you've overcome them, then you can truly start to gain from that self-confidence which comes from knowing you can handle the rough with the smooth. Instead of fearing failure, see it as an opportunity to learn. Don't think of it as the end of a road. Think of it as a stepping stone towards success. Because when you're on a journey to whatever, a promotion, a new job, a better relationship, and you've fallen down a few times, you've made a few mistakes, the one thing that you can gain from that, that failure, is that you're never gonna make those mistakes again. So you're stronger. You start to build inner self-confidence. You can take on challenges without fearing failure, and then you know that you're on your way to being a truly confident man. In fact, there's a really good expression in the American military, I believe, which uh, goes along the lines of embrace the suck. And effectively, it means do not treat hardships as enemies, treat them as friends. Because when you learn to control your hardships, to get around them, to overcome them, they're making you better. So failure actually makes you a more rounded and better person. So embrace the suck. Now my tip number three to improve your self-confidence is to develop a growth mindset. And just basically, a growth mindset is the belief that your intelligence and your abilities can be improved through learning and personal development. And to do that, we just cultivate 
this, this growth mindset by setting for ourselves new objectives, challenging objectives, seek out new ways to do things, face your fears in life and you will discover that you will grow as an individual both mentally and potentially physically. I'll give you an example. If you're somebody who is not very fit, why not set yourself the goal of running a 10 kilometer race by the end of the year? Download a Couch to 5K app on your phone. Challenge yourself. Do a little bit and often to improve your situation. And before you know it, you'll be running that race. You've stretched yourself. You've become the better version of yourself that you wanted to be because you have adopted a growth mindset. The more you step outside your comfort zone, the more you will develop and grow as an individual. If we stay operating within the narrow parameters of the comfortable life that we normally lead, we're never going to get better, get stronger and become more self-confident. So develop that growth mindset, set yourself a goal and achieve it. Now my tip number four to improve your self-confidence is to build a supportive network around you. Because as the old saying goes, no man is an island. And I have to say, they're very wise words indeed. Surround yourselves with people who are supportive, who are interested in your development, and who encourage you. A network of people like that will provide you with motivation. They will also give you authentic feedback when you ask for it. It's no good having people around you who just keep saying positive things. Yes, you're doing well, keep going, if it's not the case. You want genuine and authentic critique when you ask for it. By having that supportive network, you feel you're part of a tribe and you're amongst people who are striving towards a common purpose and who fill a void in your life, that void of needing people around you to help you on your journey. A sense of belonging, if you want to think of it like that. Seek out mentors, friends, contemporaries, people who can help guide you on the journey. I've benefited from a number of role models and mentors as I've gone through life, and now, as I approach my twilight years, I repay that to others by helping to mentor and coach them towards the successes which they seek in their life. You can fulfill both of those roles as you pass through your life journey. The belief of others is a powerful, motivating factor which help you achieve your objectives and fills you with self-confidence that the things that you're doing are for the right purpose. So build that network to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Now my final tip for you today to improve your self-confidence is to stay physically and mentally fit because physical and mental fitness undoubtedly play a huge part in your self-confidence and the way that you feel in life. Taking regular physical exercise not only keeps your body fit and healthy and you at the top level of performance that, that you can be, regardless of your age, but it also boosts your self-esteem. It makes you feel mentally better. And also practicing mindfulness techniques can improve in that part of your life too. So my, whilst it not, may not be for everybody, things like meditation, and self-development, self-growth can be really helpful for the mind. If you're not into meditation, and I have to say it's not my cup of tea, what I do is I read a lot. I use that as my sim simple self-development tool and it ha also helps quiet my mind and keeps me improving all the time. A healthy body and a healthy mind will absolutely make you the most confident version of you that you can be. In conclusion, I would like to just remind you that your self-confidence will be a valuable, invaluable asset on your journey to Chap Nirvana. It will help you in countless ways as you go through life if you feel confident and happy and comfortable about this life that you're living. If you use the five tips that I've offered you today, they will undoubtedly help you in improving your self-esteem and the way that you project yourself to the world. And I'm going to wish you well on your journey. If you've enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee. You can leave me a comment. You can drop me an email. 
And if you want to go the whole hog, you can become a patron, which costs about three pounds a month. You will then benefit from the additional video content, which I make purely for my patrons. And also you will benefit from the rather more personal interaction and relationship I have with my patrons over there on the patron channel. The link to which you will find in the show notes below. So until the next time, take care, be confident, use those tips to be a better version of yourself. And I will see you again very soon.